Terry Bailey, Senior Minister of Indian Run Christian Church, continuing in this little brief series of lessons to talk about the way the kingdom, the church, God's people and his purposes advance in times of trouble. Having uh, read a couple of passages from the Old Testament, let's move over to the New Testament now and go to the 11th verse of the 23rd chapter of the book of Acts. But on the night immediately following, the Lord stood at Paul's side and said, Take courage, for as you have solemnly witnessed to my cause at Jerusalem, so you must witness at Rome also. Now, God told Paul to take courage because this was a time in which Paul was particularly discouraged. Paul had felt a strong inner conviction that he needed to work with his own people, the Jews whom he loved. But God had been putting increasing pressure on Paul to go west, not east, and to present the gospel in Greece and then in Rome. And, and Paul had striven with the Spirit of God and with the advice of his beloved elders at the church of Ephesus and against the words delivered by prophets in his own time and continued to move toward Jerusalem until when he got there, he caused a riot and he was arrested. And having been arrested, God began to move him west. And he was held in jail in Caesarea for some time while people tried to extract a bribe from him. And then uh, rulers changed and his case was forgotten and he spent years and he was made fun of and he was laughed at and he had been beaten and all things were bad and he seemed to be going nowhere and God says take courage for as you have witnessed for me in Jerusalem so you will witness for me in Rome out of all these troubles and trials, Paul made his way to Rome, to that place which was poised to spread the gospel to the whole world. And there he preached and began not only to minister to Christians that already existed, but to convert even his jailers to Christianity. And so much changed coming out of this difficult time in the life of the Apostle Paul, when all his expectations and fervently held desires were confounded, and yet the plan of God was fulfilled and the kingdom moved forward. Perhaps our desires and ambitions are being confounded at this moment too, but the kingdom can move forward. And we can be a part of that, should be a part of that, must be a part of the kingdom moving forward in these times of trouble. If you would pray with me. Father, like the Apostle Paul, we find ourselves frustrated and confused. Help us to know that these times are not out of your control and our lives are being moved in the appropriate direction. Just give us the conviction that if wherever and under whatever circumstances you send us, we speak your word, the world will be changed. We ask for this in Jesus' name. Amen.